Hello everybody, it's Monday the 11th of January. It's Paul's birthday, happy birthday Paul. <laughs> he's listening, well he's playing with his CDs, he's going to be listening to some music soon. I'm going to go and get my car, I'm going to put some air in it and get some diesel. And then be back because Paul's mum's coming over in this afternoon, isn't she? Yeah. So I better crack on then. Good morning everybody, it's Tuesday. Now I know I didn't vlog yesterday, I do apologise. It was Paul's birthday, we had a nice day um, and we both got a bit emotional about lockdown. And uh, I just didn't feel like it. I was supposed to film Karen chat last night and I just was not in the mood, so um, I should film that tonight, but um, feeling better. Paul's feeling better. It's just, it gets very lonely being locked away like this. Yes, we've got each other and we've got Jennifer and I, I can talk to my friends online. I've got plenty of them. Paul's got a very small network of friends and he's missing being able to go out with them. And that's understandable. And that's what I'm going to say on there because we're fine. So I'm not working my normal job today. I'm working eBay this morning. I'm photographing a load of stuff I got ages and ages ago when lockdown hit. I have hardly done any eBay um, lately. So I've done a pile here. I've got a dress that needs washing. There's a top, men's top in there that needs a wash. Um, but I'm gonna do it as a bundle. So I'm gonna get it all ready and drafted and then I'm gonna pop it in the wash with the um, some other washing and anything else I come across. I've got, this place is a mess, so I do excuse it, I'm trying to sort it out, so I'm doing it. This is all eBay stuff in this corner. There's a bag here of clothes. I'm near the end now. But once I've done that bag of clothes, I've got two suitcases full in Jennifer's room. So I wanna try and get that lot out. Bag of stuff there is stuff that's been photographed and is ready to go at the shed. There'll be more going with that because my plan is to photograph till around 10 o'clock. It's about half eight, just have, just gone half eight. So I'm gonna photograph until 10 o'clock. I'm gonna have a half an hour break, just chilling. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start measuring and packing the items into the bags to take to the shed to put in the storage containers. And I will do that this afternoon. So I will finish what's in this bag. There's not much left now and I will then take an empty Ikea bag into Jennifer's room and, and get as much stuff out of at least one of the cases as I can if not all of it and then I'll work through it as much as I can and then as I get near the end I'll just go and top it up and then once I've got a good amount of this done and measured ready for listing I just list a little bit every day and I'll be able to put five live every day and then tomorrow night or Thursday night, I'll say, right, I'm going to do a few photographs, I'll do five or six, maybe ten, ten tops of of items that I've got, whether they be skirts, tops, dresses, jackets, in there. The idea is to get it all photographed, put away, and then I'm just sitting there listing it and drafting it and putting it live. And once I get to the end of that, I've still got tons of stuff I can do. I've got a bag here of games and discs and cameras. I've got a lens to list. Um... So, it's just I want the bed that, because we're going to get Jennifer's bedroom done soon, I need those bags out of there, the suitcases need to go back to their owner. So I want to get them out and get the clothes all photographed, whether or not they're all live, just get it all photographed and sorted. Sort out this corner, because I want to get to my bookcase to put some more books on it. Because that would be good, because I haven't yet. Um, I've got stuff there that needs cleaning up. So that would be a, a day I'd take off and just clean up stuff because, you know, I can photograph it at night anyway. I've got a bag of stuff that needs to be gone through and potentially thrown away. But I do like to keep the buttons in case I need a button to put on or include with a top that hasn't got one. Because they will sell. I sold a white stuff top. Do it fairly? Not a white stuff top. It was a... What was it? I can't remember. It was a really good brand. Uh, I sold it cheap because it was a button missing, but it sold. I would have included a button if I'd known where my buttons were, but I didn't. I now know where they are. So I'm gonna, I've just been made a cup of tea. I'm gonna have a sip of tea and I'm gonna crack on with my next item. And very soon I'll be going to get them out the other room, which will be nice. You know, if I don't get it all measured today, it's not a problem. I'll just, you know, before half past 12, when I go and get Jen, that's fine. I will just put it away and um, do it tonight. But I'm gonna try and get it done so I better crack on. Oh dear me. Yeah, so anything that needs washing, other than that man's top, because I am going to get it drafted because I'm bundling it with another item. 
Um, obviously, I won't measure it, and well, I'm going to measure it, but I won't necessarily pack it up because I need to put the two in a, an a envelope. Um, I'll put it in this pile. This this is a nice dress, but it's it's got a mark on it. It'll come out. It just looks like dust. So I will just uh, put it in the wash later when I do my next load of washing. It says do not tumble dry, so I should just take it out and hang it on a radiator. Be fine. And I'm going to crack on. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so it's gone 10. I've just made a cup of tea, been to the bathroom, did that stuff. So I finished photographing for, for now, for today. I might do some tomorrow night. Um, doesn't look like much, but there's probably a good 30 or so items here. So I've done a fair bit, but I pulled all the stuff that was in the suitcases out and I've got two full bags in the corner here. As you can see, um, this place is a mess. So I'm gonna have a little break. I'm gonna start measuring bagging it up ready to go in the shed into storage and I'm gonna have a little tidy up as well as I go so get this place sorted so it's more comfortable for me when I'm here colouring and reading because that I will be doing my colouring chat I'm gonna be swapping my days around this week because I didn't do it last night so I'm to colouring chat tonight day off tomorrow or for various other bits and pieces um, that I need to get done around the house and then Thursday would normally be colour and chat, but because I'm doing it a day late, I'll do eBay, and then on Friday, I'll do colour and chat. So, I'll just walk around. There's tons of it. There is absolutely loads of it here. I'm really glad. I've done a, done a good amount, and now I'm going to start... Well, I'm going to have a five-minute, ten-minute break, and then I'm going to start bagging it up, n and numbering it, you know, giving it a, a number so I know where, where I've put it up in the shed. <sighs> it's great. There's some really nice bits in there that if they were my size, and they're not far off, I would keep and there's tons of it and this was just one wardrobe this woman had and it wasn't full but it was close to and in her main bedroom her son's cleared it out years ago it's just that her husband forgot about it she had three double wardrobes full of clothes she just bought clothes that there's no going out of fashion there's there's a top in there that's got tags on it I've got a top here that's got its tags on it that I'm going to be listing she loved clothes and jewellery and she was a lovely lady and shoes and bags and hats she was really great so i've got some of his clothes as well this shirt here this red shirt is one of his that he gave me to list and i don't you know this hasn't cost me much if i don't get much for it it's only cost me a few minutes of photographing it and, and stuff like that it hasn't cost me a penny except for a little bit of time and I, i'm happy with that so anything I can get from it, I'll be happy. I have got to sort of in out because somebody said the item hadn't arrived. So I've got to check the tracking on it to see if it has, because it would have gone as a parcel, um, just to see where it is. And then I'll, I'll let them know. I'll get back to them. I haven't done that yet, but that's my afternoon work this afternoon or tonight. I'll have a look at it. It's just so busy at the moment. And anyway, I better crack on because I've got to do my account. So I'll be going through all that stuff then. So I'll get the information I need then and have a look at it. <sighs> I haven't done my account since December, mid-December. They're very far behind. In fact, I owe myself money for postage that I need to put back in, so I'm going to sort that out soon. Because obviously that, that's money I need, so I'll sort it out soon. Anywho, I'm going to get back and have a little break, and uh, then I'm going to crack on with my measuring. I'll see you later when I've finished doing this. Okay, so it's just gone midday, and I've stopped now because I need a break. My back's killing me. Um, I've measured a good few, so I've got plenty to get go on with getting this did. And I will probably measure a bit more tonight after I film my colouring chat for fill up to it, or a bit later on. Um, if not, I can always do it tomorrow night and do some more photographing tomorrow night. It doesn't make no difference whether you know I add some more stuff to the photograph stuff. I've also got a couple of bits that need washing so I'm going to take those down and put them on this afternoon because I will have a load of washing to come on so there's always something that needs washing in this house so my back is absolutely killing me I'm watching a YouTube channel called Lazy Masquerade which is really good and it's it's really spooky stuff weird stuff like family curses and, and, and weird reddit posts and so it's really good actually it's really good but uh, I'm going to just sit here for 10 minutes now and have a chill and then I'm gonna get some lunch take the bag of stuff to go up the shed that's ready to get it out of the way so I've got a bag to put more stuff in later so I have got I think something like six Ikea bags around the house there's one three there four I don't know where the rest of them are around somewhere 
I'll have to find them. I mean, I got one there that needs sorting and emptying. And there's some stuff in there that needs to be listed and some stuff that needs to be thrown. So I think I'll get these bags empty first. Actually, there's one, two, three, four there. Five, and there's one more somewhere else. It will turn up. So I will take that lot down and um, put it in their various boxes. So, yeah, I'm just going to have a chill out for five minutes before I go and do that, have some lunch and get Jennifer. We'll see what happens this afternoon. So, yeah, it's, it's been nice. I mean, I'm getting back to it now. I've got to. Tonight I'm going to do my colouring chat. Actually, I think tonight I'll do my colouring chat and I'll do my accounts. And then tomorrow I'll do another ten photographs and measure whatever I feel up to doing. Just, I can measure every day as long as I keep it going. Um... I've got to try and make some money on it and sort it out. And I've also got a thing to upload later. And I could have done that because I had the computer out, but never mind, I forgot. I'll do it later. Oh dear, I've got till Friday to answer. It's only Tuesday and I'll, I will definitely do it today. Feeling a bit tired now because I didn't sleep. Didn't sleep very well last night for some reason, so it's okay i'm all right i'm just a bit tired but yeah i've got a lot of stuff to do a lot of photographing at least i managed to empty the box the, the suitcases a ton of stuff there i've got some shoes to clean up and do i've got a pair of shoes that are fine or two pairs of shoes that are fine to get photographed and listed and i've got some cameras and games and i know that there's some rubber stamps um ink stamps uh, crafting stamps in that thing as well as some other bits and pieces so i need to get the clothing done so i can get through that bag i got cameras coming out of my ears in the shed and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to bring a few down test them and if they don't work they're going straight in the bin so been a busy tuesday morning i'm gonna like i said take 10 minutes and just chill out i'll see you later hey guys so it's tuesday night i am absolutely shattered i've been shattered since well jennifer came home um you saw me doing my eBay. Jennifer came home and she sat on my lap and I was so tired because I didn't sleep very well and then doing all that this morning that I just kept, I just couldn't keep my eyes open. I was like this. I was literally dozing off on the sofa while she was watching TV and then at dinner. And me and Paul came upstairs at half past eight. It's, it's half past ten now, ish. A bit later. I've done so much today. I got my accounts up to date because I hadn't done them since the middle of December. Now normally I do them every time something happens. So if I post an item I do it. I know that if I do get a payout from eBay it comes in on a Tuesday. You can have it done daily but I, I was just constantly going into... I thought no. Overall it's what I earn profit wise over the course of a year that's important not what I earn over the course of a month. Because it's not money I rely on. So I just thought not gonna do it every day so i put it to pay out every tuesday which is fine so every tuesday i used to go on and do it every time i'd go to the post office as soon as it had been done i'd go through and i'd put that on as well and i haven't been doing it so i've now done it and we're all up to date which is great <laughs> it is completely up to date now i managed to get five listings on as well which is fantastic I made a 40 minute colour in chat which is currently being edited still doing time flight it's taking a long time but you know here's what it is I'm enjoying doing it so um I've done that I was watching some YouTube um I've turned that off now because I'm tired I uh, read for 10 minutes I'm just going to read about um Jean Harlow I'm working my way through the book the film the Jean Harlow films and I'm just reading one film at a time so I'll read one film tonight because I left my Stephen King book downstairs and I'm starting to really get into that so kind of want to save that for the afternoon I've got a cold sore I hate that I always get them at the corner of my mouth when I'm getting a cold or after I've had a cold when I'm run down so uh, uh, not nice um so at least I did that Tomorrow is a normal working day, so we'll get up, take Jennifer to nursery. So I'm going to cough. <clears throat> my inhaler is there, I'm going to need that in a minute. Take Jennifer to nursery, come home, do my four and a half hours, and then have some lunch, pick her up, come home and do whatever she wants then for a few hours. And then when she's gone to bed, I will um, chill with Paul for a bit, watch the telly. 
and then when I feel ready, about eight, nine o'clock, half past eight, nine o'clock, I'll come up, like half past eight was right, and I'm going to do some eBay drafting, get my listings up for tomorrow, using the stuff I photographed today, and then I'm going to sit and watch YouTube or a film, and I'm just going to sit in colour. I'm going to try and finish off one of my whips. I've got so many whips on the go because I started another three this month that are not colour and chat ones. Technically four, technically five, technically six, six. One's nearly finished. I'll probably finish that tomorrow. Easy. Um, it's just a pattern. It's just I'm taking my time over it because I'm just chilling. Just chilling at 12. Plenty of time to finish it off. But yeah, I'm going to read a little bit of Jean Harlow and... I look so tired. <laughs> Get some sleep. You know, I might even try and put on a little bit of makeup at the end of the month when I do my uh, wrap up. But then, if I've got a cold sore, I won't bother. Of books I've read, because I've actually read eight. So, I need to start um, collating the information of what I thought. So, I might do that tomorrow night as well. I've got a big notebook, I can put that in. Yeah, so, and get the covers, because so far, all eight I've finished are kindle books they're ebooks it's easy to do but um when i edit it together if i edit it together normally when i do it i just create a sprite and it runs it all together and i don't have to edit it but because i want to put things in it i need to edit it properly it just takes a bit of time but it's fine i've been enjoying my reading this month and i i anticipate i will finish Potentially the Jean Harlow book, certainly the Stephen King book, and possibly the Andrew Firth book as well. And I might even start the Julie Andrews book. And that's not including the stuff on the Kindle. It's great. I'm loving it. I'm loving reading again. I've always loved reading. And that's not changed. I love books. I love the smell of them. I love the feel of them. I sound like dog loves books. Anyway, I'm going to crack on and read, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Morning everybody, it is Wednesday. I'm at work. I don't want to be. It's alright. I just don't want to be. I'd rather be doing other stuff like eBay or colouring and um, playing with Jennifer who's at nursery. Bless her, she's fine. That's all that matters. I'm tired. Slept well though, really nice sleep. God be honest. Oh, I had some weird dreams though. I've been dreaming about the office a lot. Being back in the office with a manager who hasn't worked with us for like a long time. So it's a bit odd but... There you go. At least they're not bad dreams. They're not dreams that um, I'm thinking, oh my god, it's work. <laughs> they're not that bad. They're quite nice dreams, actually. So I've just got to poot along with my day, get this bit out of the way, and then have lunch and get Jennifer and see how, what the afternoon brings. Like I said, this evening we'll be doing eBay drafting and this then. I might try and do a bit of it before when I'm sitting watching TV with Jen. Get five listed and then i'm just going to sit and colour in bed tonight and just relax maybe read a couple of chapters of stephen king which is still downstairs but hey i can't read it when i'm working anyway because i've got work to do so i'm going to crack on with what i've got to do and i will see you when i finish hey everyone i've just had a shower Whew. get a bit warm even in this weather when i'm cooking and stuff um it's bedtime everybody's in bed um i'm not even sure what time it is let me just have a quick look. Well, it's not bedtime really, it's only like <laughs> nearly five to nine. Um, Jennifer's sound asleep. All that happened is we came home um, and I came upstairs to get changed. And she wanted to come upstairs with me. And because Paul's working, it's quiet, I brought her up here and we just sat up here watching TV together. So about half past four, went down. I had to play with her. You know, so come on, we'll bring this down and we'll play downstairs. It was just pillow fighting with a cushion um, to get her downstairs. She didn't want to go downstairs. She wanted to stay upstairs and watch TV in Mummy's bed. <laughs> She's so funny. Um, put the same thing on downstairs. Played with her for a bit. Had tea. Put her to bed. She's very tired. She went straight out. Bless her heart. And now I'm just sitting here now. I'm going to do some colouring. I've got um, one of the two DVDs I ordered. It was They were supposed to be together, Ark of Infinity and Time Flight. So I've got Ark of Infinity. I'm just waiting for Time Flight. They have said that uh, it should come soon. So I'm assuming that uh, they got cheaper postage if they dispatch things separately. Um, so I have to wait and see. But I, I can watch this one. I haven't, I haven't seen this for a long time. Probably not since it was on, I'm not sure. Um, 
and hopefully the other one will come soon. It might even come tomorrow. Yeah, so I'm going to colour for a bit and I'm going to read the, um, a bit of the Gina Harley book. I have read a good chunk of Stephen King. Oh my God, it's getting horrible. It's getting really gory. Some of it is quite gory and uh, quite freaky. It's getting freaky. So yeah. So I finished one picture earlier. I'm going to try and do, not to finish another one, but do a good chunk of another one and but not too much of it. So I was doing this picture in Camellia Angel Cova's, uh, what was it, Romantic Mandela's picture book. And I was doing it with the fire liners. I don't like it, so I'm going over it all with glitter gel pen instead. <laughs> because that's the way I rumble. Um, but again, that's another one off of my shelf that I haven't coloured in before. So I've got three or four of those on the go, which is great. It's only it's only the thirteenth today, but I am going to start trying to um, start finishing off a couple of whips because I don't like having so many. So I'm going to do a bit now. I'm not going to do any eBay today because I'm going to do it tomorrow during the day and tomorrow night. So I'm just going to relax this evening because I just feel exhausted. Um, but yeah, everything's great. It's good. It's good. This is the old bag that the Touch News were in. Um, I've taken them out and put them on the side because there's not many colours left and they just fall over so I've just laid them down on their sides and I'll just use them when I'm colouring with markers but I've got my link shines in here now it sounds like there's a lot and that's because there is I'll show you yeah. so yeah I don't know what happened then um but yeah so yeah lots of link shine pens because I've been buying them in tens of each colour so 10 black 10 gold 10 red I think it might be light blue next but I I'm not sure it might be silver I'm gonna check so I'm gonna do a little bit of that and then um Go to sleep. I look tired. I feel tired. I need a good night's sleep. I have bags under my eyes. But yeah, that's what it is. Leveling up to 47 this year. Do you know what? I don't feel it, so I don't care. Jennifer keeps me young. And reading. Lots of reading. I like learning things. So, yeah, like I said, I'm, I've got that Jean Harlow book. I've got book on the trenches of the tower i want to read i did start it before christmas but i haven't finished it so i'm gonna to have to pull that one i've got the agatha christie book um which is her complete notes i want to read a bit of that tonight and i've got the andrew firth books i'm not one of the persons I, I mean i can sit there and read a whole book in one go and i have been known to do that but sometimes i like to dip so for instance i've read a good chunk of that stephen king's hat and i can't i can't face any more of it because it's got to um, quite a gory bit so I'm like and I'm, I'm sort of like puzzling over it now so I need to have a break from it and digest what's been been written and just read something simple like I'm just going to read um, the next uh, installment of the Jean Harlow films or the films of Jean Harlow whatever it's called Jean Harlow films um, which is Public Enemy which is just a small piece about the film The Public Enemy with uh, James Cagney and then I might read a few pages of Agatha Christie and then I'll look I'll, and the, the thing with the Andrew Firth book it's pictures mostly with a little tiny bit of text but I am looking at getting the book People of the Abyss to go with it because it is a companion to that book as well as some Jack the Ripper books oh and I put a bid on some Titanic books but I might not get those and I'm not worried because they are on auction if I don't get them I don't care I can I can find the one I wanted anyway on its own probably cheaper it looks like I'm getting spots on my head anyway that's it for tonight i will see you tomorrow i'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna do some coloring and i'll catch up with you on thursday gosh this week's going fast hey everyone it's andrea it's thursday morning and i'm at work you know jennifer's at nursery paul's downstairs um i've only got two hours to go for my shift so i'm over halfway through yay um don't know what's going to be happening today it's really gray and horrible out really murky and horrible um we had a few cancellations for interviews for guys that are up in Leeds because they can't get to where they need to go because they're snowed in. I wish we could have snow like that. It'd be lovely. Oh, But hey, it is what it is. Um, I just want Jennifer to see it. Yeah. So. Who knows what we'll do this afternoon. I'm absolutely shattered. I've got, I don't know whether she's kicked me in the side or I've slept on something. But I've got a pain in my left side that it hurts. Feels like I've bruised rib or something. Really painful every now and again when I move. Or sit in a certain position. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit weird. <coughs> so, and I'm really tired. So I think I must have been tossing and turning because it does hurt quite badly sometimes. But hey, maybe I'll get a dose this afternoon if Jennifer's... Uh, 
wanting to watch TV and will be quiet, but unlikely. But I might sleep on the sofa anyway, so just sit, put her on my lap if she's watching telly and just go. <laughs> anyway, yeah, um, you want to do some colouring today. I want to try and finish off another whip. Um, I know we're not even halfway through the month, but I'm starting to seriously think about whip finishing now. The ones I've started for this month, I'm the one whip I want to finish this month, so yeah. So yeah, it's uh, it's all good. That's answering a query. Anyway, I'll uh, talk to you after, and we'll see what's going on. Um, Pengy, where's Pengy? Show me Pengy. Is he hiding? Pengy. <gasps> I've seen him. There he is. You gonna say hello? I'll see. I'll show you. Hang on. Oh. You say hello. Hello. <laughs> There's Pengy. <laughs> Pengy. What? Watch him beat the watch, BB man. BB man. BB man. I talk BB. You good girl. I got the boots. <laughs> You're gorgeous, isn't you? Look at you. Ow, ow, ow. Sorry. <laughs> oh, you're gorgeous. <laughs> BB Man. All right, I'll put BB Man on then. All right. Bye bye. So it's uh, Thursday night and Jennifer's asleep in bed. It's about quarter to nine. Paul's just having a snack and I'm so tired. I am going to get an early night. Well, I say that I'm going to watch a bit of YouTube. I was going to do eBay, but I'm just too exhausted to do anything. Like my eyes are hurting, so I'm just going to chill out and relax for a bit. Um, I've got, um, to admit, today was hard. This afternoon was hard with Jennifer. She was good as gold, as you saw earlier. Um, but then uh, she started climbing on the table and pulling at things. And we were trying to do something. And I had to tell her off because I don't want her on the table because I don't want her falling off because I know she will. And then at dinner time, she was sort of messing around. She said she wanted some soup instead of a main meal. So that's fine because she has a big dinner at, at nursery and I made her some soup and she was eating that and she was rocking the chair. And I said, don't rock the chair, you're going to fall backwards. Turn my head away and of course she knocks the chair backwards and she's on the floor crying. She's fine. She didn't hit her head or anything. I think it was a shock more than anything that upset her. Checked her, but she is fine. Um... I'll keep an eye on her through the night, so I'm not going to get much sleep. But she calmed down, had a biscuit after that, and then just sat and cuddled me very, very quiet then the rest of the evening, as if to say, I've upset mummy. Um, she hurt me and she scratched me. I went, oh, and, and, and I really was sharp. Her nail was sharp. I've cut her nails since she wanted them cut. And I actually let out a bit of a yelp, and she started crying because she'd hurt me. She's so sweet. But she doesn't listen, like, a lot of kids they don't listen at that age so we went and sat on the sofa and had a cuddle she's in bed i'll keep an eye on her just to make sure she's right she didn't bang her head on anything um or anything like that no marks on her she's fine but she didn't have scare me and i think that's really it was tired anyway knocked me out of it knocked it out of me so i'm going to try and do some eBay tomorrow afternoon when i finish work and see how i can get i'll keep you updated on if i get anything listed i might try and draft a bit first thing in the morning when i get up because i'm more awake then normally i'm more awake at night right <sighs> but keeping up with a three-year-old she will be at the end of the month is absolutely killing me but she's wonderful and i wouldn't change it for the world never never change it for the world she's my light she makes everything worthwhile she's beautiful anyway i'm going to see if i can watch some rubbish to watch on youtube probably something titanic conspiracy related i'm in a conspiracy move steve don a few bought a book at the brattle which is a bookshop in boston second i want uh, called Titan the titanic conspiracy i've actually got a paperback copy of that come in along with another titanic book so i got it on ebay at auction didn't pay much for them 
Uh, I thought as it's two, that's fine. I'll have a go for that. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. It's all about silly conspiracies, like, and and they are. Um, so why, you know, it was just things like why was he, why did he go full steam into the ice field? Blah 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 blah, and all that sort of stuff that is questionable. And then things like, well, was it really Titanic that sank, or was it the Olympic where they swapped as an insurance job? Which no, they weren't. But they go. Some people do think that, you know. But uh, yeah, so. It's, it's, I just love stuff like that. And I've got another Titanic book coming with it, which is fine. I've got anything else coming. I don't think so. I think that's it. I'm tempted. I'm trying not to buy a colouring book. I do want to buy more colouring books. And I'm thinking, because so far I've only got three this month. Or it will be three when I get the colour in heaven one. Three is not a haul. <laughs> uh, so... I, mean, I don't have to do a haul, it's just I like doing them. I might just might not do one other month. So I'm not doing a haul this month, but next month I will do a January, February haul because I'll probably get more. You know, I've got Jennifer's birthday to get presents for you. Next month's my mum's birthday, but at least it's only one because this month I had Paul's as well to sort out. So, yeah. Time for me to get some rest. I need a good night's sleep. So I've left my I've left my Stephen King book downstairs. I haven't read any of it today, and I'm, I don't want to because I'm too tired to concentrate on it. <sighs> I am reading a book called oh, what's it called? It's set in nine. Well, it's modern day time travel thing called Do They Know It's Christmas Yet or something like that. And it's about these kids who go well, these youngsters, not kids, because one of them's got a son. He's only a baby, but who find a time machine and end up at they go back to 1984 and break it. So I'm wondering how they're going to break 1984. <clears throat> so because it's 1980s, I thought I'd give it a try. It's all right. At the moment, I'm not overwhelmed by it. But that might just be because I'm too tired to appreciate it. That's why I think I'll start reading that again tomorrow. But uh, I will let you know what I think, obviously, and in my wrap-up, because I will make sure I finish it. I haven't actually finished a book for a few days, so that's quite good for me. I'll see you very soon. Well, tomorrow morning. Hope everything's going all right where you are. We're okay. We're okay. See you later. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday. We finally made it to the last day of the week. I've only done three days and it feels like it's much longer. <laughs> Always does when you've had a few days off. Um, yeah, so I'm just setting my stuff up to start work. Wee! And uh, I'm past 12. I'm out. <laughs> Excuse me, for freedom, then I'm going to get Jen, and I did promise her, because she didn't want to go this morning. She was like, I want to stay with Mummy. I was like, oh, lovely. she wants to stay with me. Um, she wanted to stay at home with me today. Um, I said that if she was a good girl, went to nursery, but any fast, she could come and sit in Mummy's bed later, and we'll watch The Baby Man. Now, The Baby Man is a channel called, <laughs> it's actually called T-Rex Ranch, and it's just this whole silly story about these guys and girls running a dinosaur ranch, kind of like Jurassic Park, but in America. So, we don't watch them in order, we just randomly pull them up. We might have seen it 20 times, but if she's happy to watch it, we'll watch it. Sometimes she says, no, not this one. She don't want that one. <laughs> she's seen it that many times. So that's what we're going to do, I promise. So we will sit up here. And it also gives Paul some peace and quiet downstairs while he's still working. She likes sitting in Mummy's bed. I don't know why. She says Mummy's bed. <laughs> it's a spare bed in the spare room in the library. But there is a TV and we can watch um, uh, T-Rex Ranch, which will be nice. So she'll like, she'll have fun doing that. Um, yeah, I didn't read anything last night. For me, I actually went to sleep early, which for me is like around half ten. <laughs> Sometimes I can go sleep earlier than that. If I'm really, really tired, I just won't do anything at all. But I wanted to finish a colouring picture. So I finished that, watched a bit of YouTube, and then um, went to... I thought, that's it. I just turned everything off. I turned, did put the phone away, and I just went to sleep. And it was very nice. Checked on Jenna throughout the night because of her falling off the chair yesterday. She was fine. Wanted to wear dinosaurs this morning. Get Put her a dinosaur top on. Tried to put some other trousers on her, which were plain ones. No, dinosaur! She wanted the dinosaur matching trousers, so she looks like a great big dinosaur. So it's like this pale green thing. It's this tracksuit, it is, basically, with the tracksuit top and bottoms, and it matches, and you can mix and match. And, um, but she wanted to wear all the dinosaurs. She looks like she's in a pair of pyjamas, really, but it's not. She's so cute, though. She looks cute in it. So I'm going to get on with work. Um, tonight I'll be filming a colouring chat. I will be doing some eBay. I'll probably do it when Jennifer's watching t-rex marriage to be honest because i can draft it on my phone and then 
finish it off in the evening when I've done my colouring chat, uh, which will be nice. And um, yeah, to see how the day goes. Um, I am starting to fin try and finish off the whips I've started, though that's not going to stop me from starting a new picture if I want to. I'll see you later. I better get cracked in and logged on. See you later. Hey guys, it's Friday night and Paul is going to be doing a Zoom meeting with his friend. Um, I've had to lend him my new laptop because the the old one, the charger works, but it's a really weird charger, so it just doesn't fit properly. It just keeps coming undone. The plug is in two sections and it, it slides apart, and it's just doing it all the time. We need a new one for it. Nothing wrong with the laptop. It still works, just very slow. Um, so the idea was that we'd have that one downstairs and Paul would use it for his Zoom meetings and we were quizzing or if I wanted to do something downstairs and the new one would live up here and I'd use it for my eBay, photography, YouTube stuff but I can't be bothered to do anything tonight, I'm tired and I just want to chill I am going to do some colouring, I've got a few whips on the go um, that I've started this month so I'm going to try and do a bit on those and I've also got the one whip uh, that I was going to try and finish this month so I am going to crack on and see what I can do with um, uh, these uh, the whips. I'm going to start on uh, the one that's a Colour in Heaven Discovery Club image. So I'm going to do that one to death first and do a bit of that one. And then I might go on to the Johanna Bassford calendar and do a bit on that one if I manage to finish the one. So Jennifer's sound asleep in bed, which is lovely. We did come up and we watched the BB Man for ages and played and cuddled and then we went down and had some food and played and cuddled and then she went to bed. Not a lot happening. It's a weekend though, that's just such a relief. So the other day I put a bid on two Titanic books on eBay. I think it, um, high bid, I have put £7.99. Um, and uh, I won it for £7.20 plus shipping. It's paid for, so that'll be coming soon. And one of those is Titanic Conspiracies and I can't remember what the other one is. But I have since found a bookshop that has um, some Jack the Ripper books really really cheap I haven't actually got I don't believe Jack the Ripper in the East End no I haven't so I'm thinking I might get them there were five altogether or maybe six um, definitely five of one of which I've got and the other four I didn't so I thought I might buy them because they're very cheap uh, but uh, obviously Paul's got my laptop so I have to do it tomorrow but I'll have a look at it and I've also got to pay something but I can do that via PayPal on my phone in a minute uh, so I'm going to ch chill out and uh, watch some YouTube and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys. It's Saturday everybody, we're in the park. Jennifer's eating a chocolate egg. And I've run around in a minute. I've already done a load of washing, got another load to go. And then there's another load after that as well. It's like never ending. It's not like I don't do it in the week, because I do. But all I ever do is seem to be doing is washing clothes. Sorting clothes and putting clothes away. And that's just mine and hers. I wash his, but he puts his away. Penny darling. Mm. So, yeah. so we're in a park. It's not too bad. It's a bit cloudy. A bit cloudy, but not too bad. The blue sky there. You want to see yourself, Jen? Here you are. Say hello. Um. <laughs> you are a good girl, aren't you? You <laughs> should close your mouth. Nobody wants to see your food. Anyway, she's going to have a run around in a minute, hopefully, and wear herself out. She's hiding in the slide compartment. Um, she ran off with a packet of burger bites. Which are the crisps I like. And she likes them as well. And they do let her have a few. Although she's telling her that she eats burgers in Mummy's bed. <laughs> What's up? He did not hurt me. He did not hurt you. He just hurt slightly when I pull the... Yeah, A tractor. Have you got it? Come on then. It's empty, darling. Come on. Yeah. Pull it back and let it go. Ooh. Ooh. Your tractor crashed. Oh dear. Daddy can do it. What's Daddy do it? Look, 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 watch, watch. Woo, and it's straight off again. You're good at doing that, aren't you? Again, again. 
So uh, it's evening now. Jennifer's uh, sound asleep in bed, which is great. I can't be honest, though. She was playing up getting her ready for bed and she whacked her head back and caught me a right one on the nose. <laughs> really quite sore still. Um, I'm going to make a colour and chat video now because I was going to do it last night and I, I was too tired. I'm really tired tonight and I want to go to sleep, but I'm going to do it now. Um, yeah, we'll be finishing off the time flight picture from Doctor Who and you'll be seeing that before you see this because it'll be up on Sunday and you'll be seeing this video on Monday. Now, a little while ago, I lost or I misplaced my little thumb drive, my little USB thing and I thought Jennifer's put that somewhere and it's uh, down the back of the bed there and I haven't picked it back up yet but uh, she dropped it down there because it was on there and there's no way it could have flown from there to there. So, yes, so I am just going to colour and uh, chat with the um, thing. I am watching uh, Grace Fonseca colouring in some grayscale pictures tonight. Um, over on Grace's Corner, lovely channel. Go check her out, she's brilliant. And then I'm going to get the markers out and I'm going to have a go with this one. Just because I fancy it. This was one of the Colouring Heaven Discovery Club pictures that I've downloaded. This, this paper's really smooth. Pencils go alright on it. Um, but I'm going to try it with the markers and see how it, it goes. So I'll let you know. But uh, yeah, that's it. I'm uh, going to crack on now and get this video done. So on my colouring chart, and if you've watched it, you know this is where we've left it. Because all that's left to colour now is, is the greenery and the background and the sky which I have got to finish and this background which is going to be sort of brownie colour and maybe a bit more of him behind there but I need to do the, the flowers so I showed you how I was doing everything and I just don't see the point in just spending an hour or a 40 minute video colouring chat just colouring in leaves you know I might as well just do them on my own and get it done so I'm going to call it a night now, I'm going to put this away for a little bit, I'm going to colour something else uh, while I'm watching uh, Grace's Corner and I will see you tomorrow which is Sunday. Hey everyone, it's Sunday morning and oh have I got a headache this morning where she cracked me on the nose, she's bruised it I think. My head's hurting. So it's Sunday morning, my mechanic friend Carl has just been up to change the brake light for me, he said you'd never get the thing out, you have to take the unit out and yeah it was fiddly. Even he couldn't remember how to do it and how to check, so that's all done. He's such a nice bloke. We had, we had a bit of a laugh. Put the world to rights, as you do. So I'm going to go shopping. Got to get a few bits for mum and dad, so we'll be taking them down as well afterwards, just very quickly to pop in and give them their stuff. And then it'll be back home. And who knows what will happen this afternoon. I'll be playing with Jennifer. She's doing jigsaw puzzles with Daddy at the moment on the table. It's Paw Patrol ones that we got her from Amazon. She loves them. Strange thing with that was, I put them all together and then I put the last one together, which is the one with the most pieces. And I couldn't find five pieces. So we put it in a bag, put it away. And then the next day I took them out and they were all there. It was really bizarre. So it must have been just me. <laughs> Anywho, um, yeah, i got to go and get Jen dressed now. And then we'll be off to the shops. I don't really want to go to the shops, but I have to. Oh, and I've got to edit my video together, so I'll do that in a minute, so once we get back. So anyway, that's me. Um, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so it is uh, Sunday night, and as usual, I've not actually done any vlogging today, but not a lot really happened. I had a bad head. We got back from shopping, put it away, had some lunch. I had a lie down, got up. Paul had a lie down while I was just watching TV with Jennifer, and then... We had tea, she went to bed, and I've been colouring in the Doctor Who book um, that you will have seen on Sunday. So, yeah, I haven't been doing a lot, I must, must admit. I am thinking of uh, renting Wonder Woman 1984, but I need to have a look to see how much it is from Virgin Media to, to rent. I, wanna, I do want to see it, but it's going to be horrendous expensive. I'll just wait for it to come out on, on Blu-ray and buy a copy, like I did the original one. And I will buy the original one. We'll buy it anyway. So I just want to see the bit with Linda Carter at the end. It's a nice little nod. Um, yeah, that's the end of the week. I'm going to take a break from coming in the Doctor Who book now and, and do a bit more in one of the others uh, while watching a little bit of YouTube for half an hour and then I'm going to read uh, the Stephen King book. I'm about halfway through it. So here we are. As you can see. That's where I am. Woo. It's getting a bit weird, but then it's Stephen King. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, weekly vlog. You never know, there might be something happening next week. You never know. I'll keep you updated. The only news today really is that Phil Spector died. Not that that's a great loss to humanity, really. Uh, there you go. 
That's not a very nice thing to say, but, you know, he wasn't a very nice man, so. Hey-ho, I'll see you next week. Bye.